So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. This is the very own mass coder decide. Today we are going to solve another question of the problem of the day. So today's question is pentagram checking. Okay, let's see what does the question say. So the question says that you have been given a string. All right, let's say the string is S. Okay, now you have to check whether this string contains all the alphabets. Okay, all the alphabets as in it should contain A, B, C, D up till Z. Now for A, it can contain the capital A or the small a also. For B, it can, can contain small b or capital B. Both will be counted as same. So capital is equals to equals to small in this case. All right. And what we have to do is the string can also contain spaces special characters etc you have to omit them that is they will not affect your answer you just need to check if it contains all the alphabets or not okay so what can be the approaches to solve this problem the first approach can be to avoid the confusion between uppercase and lowercase just convert a string into lower or upper convert into single casing Single casing as in either upper casing or lower casing that is your wish. After that what you can do is for that you can do a uh, make a vector of uh, type in to mark the visited. Its size would be z uh, 26. Okay fill it with zeros and then traverse the string. And mark the particular indexes of the word as one okay and at last after the loop is finished after the traversal is finished traverse the array again traverse the array again array means the 26 size array that is this array visited array and check if something is not left unvisited if unvisited then false otherwise true okay so my second approach will be i think you are clear with the first approach this was not difficult either convert it into upper or lower in the second approach i will use the same method but i will not convert it into upper or lower if i get an upper that is a to z i will mark index accordingly or if i get a to z i will mark index accordingly by subtracting it from a or in this case, we're subtracting it for capital A. Okay, so this will be my approach only. So let's scroll down real fast. It is not a hard problem today. Yeah. So what was that? Our length is s dot length. Correct. I hope you are clear with that property of C plus plus. I got my length in the variable n. All right. Now I will make a vector. Of type int size viz size 26 sorry and mark it as unvisited for all of the indexes. Now traverse the string i less than 20n i plus plus. Yeah, first I forgot to mention the first test first base case will be if n is less than 26. If n is not 26, how can it occur in all the alphabets, right? So in that case, it unfolds directly. No need to process the further. All right, and here for the traversal, what you will do is if my SI is greater than equals to A and my SI is greater than equals less than equals to Z, yeah, in that case, this of SI minus A plus plus, and same for capitals, make it as else is here. And it is capital A here, capital Z here, and capital A here. Okay. Our next step was to traverse the visited array. So for int i equals to 0, it will go up till 26. That is the length of the visited array i plus plus. If not visited, in that case return false. Otherwise, if the whole array is visited, in that case return. Alright. 
let's try to submit let's try to compile and run this is an ad from gmg hope you don't mind it okay oh, running fine for compiler let's try to submit also in the meanwhile please subscribe to our channel it means a lot to me and as you can see we have completed our 48 day streak it has been a long journey and you don't not it would not have been uh, accomplishable without your love and support so keep supporting me please subscribe to my channel and meet you soon